uh, twitch.tv slash chef steve 330 in case you guys don't know who this is this hey. is i think one of my favorite cooking streamers uh on the food and drink category right now if you uh haven't been to the food and category food and drink category i really encourage you to do so because chef steve is probably one of my favorite ones to watch he is out <laughs> there he is doing so much good cooking yeah, and uh, see, i want I'm a little different than a lot of the food and drink uh, creators because I stream from my business as well. So uh, there's only a few of us that kind of like do that, I guess you could say. This is very true. I, we just recently had a brand new uh, ambassador pizza. Pizza princess, uh, yeah, yeah. Pizza princess, yes. So uh, I totally get what you mean. Pizza princess uh, it's a, is it's one a of- It's a grind. So, you know, I, I Yeah, talk did... to me about it. Like what, what, is, your, like, what is your work uh, uh, that you do okay, that gets cool, streamed? Um, so like I have an Italian food truck with my business partner's name is, uh, creme delish and we have like a culinary powder. It's called essentially it's a vanilla cinnamon culinary powder and you can get that on the website, get creme delish.com. But we, we use that in a lot of my desserts that I make on the food truck and we kind of are using the food truck to promote that product, uh, as well. Right. So it's like, we have two kind of businesses in one and uh so you're already working seven days a week anyway and then a lot of times we'll just start the stream and it's you know it could be us prepping one day or whatever we got to do for the normal day to day or then sometimes like we'll be out on the truck during a job and they can see you know different places that the food truck is at and all the customers that walk up to the truck and we have tvs on the outside of the truck and so all the customers know we're streaming and we get to let them know about twitch and we're a charity stream too so every time i go live i'm raising money for something the last five years we've been doing this and um so it's nice that a lot of the people that come up with the truck get to either share stories with us or uh they'll donate their change after their food order or sometimes they'll just give us extra Aww. donations too so we make a good amount of money just by you know promoting what we're doing on twitch letting people know that there's more to twitch than video gaming uh there's an amazing food and drink community out there um, oh there is know, there is everyone needs to, to watch the food and drink yeah. channel yeah so it's nice that we get to use our truck for that we also get to use our truck to help promote what creme delish is we use it in all of our product on the truck as far as the desserts with the cannoli cream or the tiramisu or whatever it may be and um yeah so it's it's nice being able to do that and i had a barbecue food truck in cleveland ohio for a while as well but there was a time in between when i left cleveland moved to houston uh, to start the Italian food truck with Creme Delish, my business partner, and I was streaming from a kitchen. So I actually had to do what a lot of food and drink streamers now, which are amazing at what they do, uh, which is kind of similar to what you did as far as you got to go grocery shopping. You have to spend the money on food, which is expensive. You got to plan like what you're going to make, you know, tie it into certain themes or things like maybe with video game cooking books or whatever uh, it might be or like um, community meal redemptions. Maybe people in your community want you to cook something, you know, that for them or their family did uh and it got to be pretty expensive like i i didn't realize that because when i first started streaming food and drink on kick it was like through the business so i just did my thing and then i finally had to start buying groceries for it i, I was spending like a few hundred dollars a week at minimum it is not just, cheap yeah so you know that's almost a thousand dollars a month you're spending on just to be able to yep. keep your community going and, and inspiring people with food and and growing a community and, and raising money for whatever charity you know and that was a, a pretty big shock. So now I'm glad to have the Italian truck and, and use that uh, to still be able to do do what I got to do <laughs> um, and not have to buy all the groceries. Oh, that is we excellent. Hey, uh, I love that. Kids. It's good to see you. Hi, Screen. How you doing? Hi, Lady Durell. Thank you guys for being here. Hi, Michael. It's good to see you guys. Hello. Yeah, don't forget uh, to say hi, chat. If you have any questions, please let me know. Let me go hop on Steve's uh yeah, Twitch any, channel so I can, can see what their chat's so like. That's, that's what's really cool about food and drink too. When you're talking about like people not understanding what Twitch has to offer, uh, everybody can relate with food and music. And there's so many great yeah. music streams out there. So many great music communities, food communities, and um, it's like real live chat in a way, right? Everybody watches yes. Food Network shows or different whatever's Hell's Kitchens, Top Chefs and everyone's um, got an opinion about food everybody yeah, and, and everybody can relate to it right but if you go yeah. onto a twitch food and drink channel you can like ask us a question you can say ask yep. us you know what what can i do to help me get a better product at cooking eggs or whatever it may be right and it's it's you know real stuff it's pretty cool oh hey, what yeah up, i like it's good so to much. see you bud 
yeah what's up uh so i wanted to ask you then a couple because you know this is i don't i don't really uh get a chance to like talk to you face to face every time i've talked to you it's always been in passing yeah or it's or always the been party like, last year i think we got a hug it was just crazy yeah the TwitchCon last yeah. year in san diego was crazy it's weird that i'm getting the most interaction with partners uh while i'm not there right now because yeah, i'm doing, doing this, this uh, i'm doing this right I, here dude, i thought you were gonna be here i was like i can't wait to give you a big hug and then it's like wait i'm talking to her on a screen all right this is fine. yeah no but hey, so they gave uh, me a comfy, comfy couch though you know what i'm saying you don't I get you to don't take a rest a little couch, bit so. i don't i just have my like workspace and that's fine but yeah. like uh, i'm like of course i'm extremely jelly because uh what i'm doing is uh I had to, I looked at my wedding budget. I'm like, let's not go to TwitchCon uh, yeah. right now. Yeah, dude, I understand. It, this is, Vegas is crazy expensive. As fun as this trip has been and as different as this TwitchCon has been about all the other ones, it everything here is like minimum $20 to eat anywhere, you know, as far as yeah. anything, but it can go up to thousands. And um, everything is kind of like really spread out here uh, as well compared to other TwitchCons where we were kind of closer together. I mean, people yeah. are at every casino. There's parties. I mean, it's it's been a, and, uh, no sleep the last couple of days. I 100% 100 believe that. I used to be a uh, a Vegas degenerate. Uh, me and the, the boyfriend used to be there like four or five times a year. Right, uh, yeah, yeah. We were so excited to go every time. And, you know, we finally calmed down. We kind of tape ourselves off after that. But, yeah, it's one of those things where, like, there's just always something going on. And there's always something to do. And you're just... I, I uh, got so lucky this year. So... I wouldn't be here without Starlight, and I do a lot of charity <sighs> stuff. And honestly, I wouldn't be here without my community. And I know every streamer says that, but that's a hundred percent. And uh, because of, it. because of what we we raised this year for Starlight, Starlight paid for my plane tickets, my hotel, my TwitchCon passes. Um, I'm getting a, amazing. Uh, a crazy like award ceremony tonight at eight o'clock at the Rainforest Cafe from them, and um, it's it's been memorable. So I've been um coming in early i've been getting here around nine every day and helping out with the booth for the f first few hours like when uh they let the people into the event and i've been helping you know campaign for starlight and i've been they also have like a card reader thing there for people to donate i've raised a couple uh, oh. I've, I've had two forty dollar donations which is a hospital so you're gown. still doing fundraising right now for yeah, them, i've like, been spending the first the like three hours of my twitch con literally talking to so many people about charity streaming and like how easy it can be and people that you know have questions about how do i get started doing it and uh that is it's amazing. Been such a such a cool thing to be able to do that well uh do you know what take an opportunity right now uh talk to me about starlight so anybody at home might not know what starlight is how to donate possibly or just uh yeah you know, the so concept. starlight org is where they can go find all the information they need but the cool thing about what starlight does i'm a i'm an ambassador for them and for saint jude but the good thing about starlight is you can you can physically put things at local hospitals, right? So if you go to starlight.org, you put in your zip code, it'll tell you a Starlight hospital that's near you, wherever you live, in what state. And, and they're in a lot of different countries too, Canada, UK, Australia. And um, you'll find a hospital near you and say you raise like $1,700, that's a Nintendo Switch handheld, and you get to choose the hospital it goes to. Say you raise $5,000, that's a gaming station on wheels um to where it can go to the bed if the kid can't get out of bed and it is and they provide things like gowns and virtual reality headsets and gaming is like the cure it's a, a good way gaming has been something that we can all relate to you know share memories with uh can get you out of that funk uh can cheer up your day right so these kids I believe it, yeah. that are at these hospitals don't realize like hey there's a there's a gaming station here now and then you know it might say your name on the side of it because you're the community that helped raise that and you get that opportunity to put it in a hospital that you choose so that's kind of what's cool about what starlight does and they're in over 800 different hospitals uh across the country here in the u.s so a lot of people probably don't realize it but they they have one in their city most likely um and it's just it's easy to do you can uh you know i've been telling a uh, campaigning a lot for tiltify these last few days because tiltify makes it easy for us to be able to start a campaign oh, yeah. find a campaign oh, yes. to raise money for and then not have to worry about the money part it all goes to tiltify and then it all goes to the charity that you're trying to donate right and um, absolutely and i always love to tell people this too especially these last couple of days it doesn't matter if you're a streamer or not anybody can start a tiltify account yes. anybody can get a qr code after they start a tiltify account and like say you want to fundraise for starlight right so you'll get your own qr code your own donation link and then you okay. can take that to church you can give that to your work you can uh put it on all of your socials right so you don't have to stream to help because there are a bunch of people that want to help and say hey i can't afford to donate well you can do is something as simple as that you know make a tiltify account get your own link and post it on your own thing and you never know what can happen 
Uh, yeah, I 100% believe that. I had a couple of childhood friends who, when I was a kid too, they were going through some chemo. There was like nothing to do um, when I was younger. There was nothing to do at the hospital while you're sitting there, uh, not able to leave because you're in the middle of trying to get treatment. So right. uh, that is one of the things that I have actually really enjoyed Starlight for is that I, yeah, they 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 have something to do. There's like a break away from like not having to think about what they're going through right now. Yeah. And I think that's really Let important. Let the kid be a kid. And, uh, you know, th that right there is priceless. And, you know, another cool thing that happens to me, because they have the names on the side of the, the things if you raise enough to donate those. Like, I, I sometimes have gotten Instagram messages or Twitter messages from people that have just started looking for that name on social media to thank me. No for, way. Uh, yeah, allowing their child That's so cool. to That's smile, so you know. And it's, it's, it's the things like that that really make yeah. it worth it, you know. It's like this is uh, – you just grow in the community itself. Like every Twitch community is such an amazing experience to have and share with people, but then also to tie charity in with it. Uh, I don't know. It makes me really proud, I guess, to to do it. And it, it also like gives you as a, a content creator, it gives you the, the desire to keep grinding, you know, the yeah. day in and day out of doing this on top of while you're trying to do your, your uh, business profession as well is pretty rough. And yeah. uh, it's not hard or it's not easy for a lot of people. And I've been doing it about five years now. So um, but it's also changed my life and it made me a better person. So, I, you know, I owe everything to just uh, being inspired a long time ago by a couple of people raising money for for St. Jude's streaming my favorite video game. And now uh, being able to inspire as many people as I have, you know. Yeah, that's that is actually neat. I'm trying not to curse right now. I'm not even sure if it's allowed to or not. But I'm doing the best thing. <laughs> well, I, I, mean, I probably this is Vegas. Neat. It's crazy here. The amount of stuff you'll see. Like, yeah, tell, well, tell me because I haven't. I can't see the floor. So tell me about TwitchCon. What do you got uh, going dude, on honestly, there? Day two. I was surprised. There's just as many people on day two. Now they trickled in a little later because last night the, uh, the oh normal I believe Twitch it. party apparently yep. was the best one they've ever had. Uh, wow. I didn't get to go to the one last night. I, I was doing a bunch of other stuff, but the I know the partner party was the best one they ever had. So I'm assuming wow. the Twitch party was probably the best one they ever had. Okay. And, um, just the amount of uh, people that are here, I guess, you know, in the event itself uh, is a pretty good feeling. Like Twitch is, is still a thing. And there is a little bit of, yeah. uh, you know, a lot of a lot of kick streamers around, too. Um, really? I say. And there is sometimes you'll find little pockets of like, you know, people trying to compare who's better than not and i always think that's silly because like we're that all is, the same you know yeah, that's and uh we're all trying to do the same thing and we're all just like people right yeah no uh, and someone class simulcasting is the thing now so honestly it doesn't yeah really yeah, yeah you they, they have so you want. many good announcements now and i'm excited i've never streamed on kick i made an account like you know most stream uh content creators would oh you always want to try to yeah. save your name yep 100 percent. Right? now like because uh kicks food and drink community is pretty much non-existent so now's a good time oh. for food and drink streamers especially smaller ones that maybe want to not grow. wrong and the one reason i didn't go to kick is you know i don't I'm, i've never been one to be like doing this for money and i and that's okay if you do but uh, you know i'm more about the charity side of of this whole thing but I didn't want to lose not even one community member by going over to kick or something, you know, and yeah, um, I don't think that would be fair. So I suck it out. And now that we are able to, I, you, you're darn right. I'm going to set up a, a little multi stream and I'll just have kick going on in the background. Well, you know, any chance for you to like get as much uh, for charity as much as possible, honestly, you know, yeah, because then I can use all me. that for the charities. Right. So, you know, yeah, it me. is what it is. I'm just I, I'm excited about all the announcements that he had the other day. And I got to have a meeting with Dan the other day, which was really I was nice. going to say, like, have you got to have you chance? Have you had a chance to meet yeah, Dan? Because I have time with been... us uh, for about <laughs> my mind. five minutes on Thursday night at a taco spot randomly down the road. And um, <laughs> really, and yeah, it's such a good experience. We had a huge like list laid out. Uh, I was with chaotic gabs and uh, Vordy and his wife Twyla and Beck and there was only like five or six of us and it and um it was so cool that just him giving us that time with how crazy busy his schedule is and how many people yeah. that are here you know and we got to talk about a lot of cool stuff and he got to answer a lot of cool questions and it was a lot of like IRL and food and drink stuff you know like how can we help grow these little communities right if you're not a video game community it's hard to get noticed on this platform if you're not yep. on just chatting and just chatting is so broad too there's so many there's food and drink streamers that only stream on just chatting right so it's like yeah how you know how can we help grow our small little niche how can we get better opportunity 
And uh, it was good to talk to him about that and hear his plans on some of that. And he know he also said that the the carousel is absolute crap and it doesn't really help <laughs> at all and it's embedded. I'm and, so glad he knows. Yeah, he knows all about that. So you know, it's it's it was good to hear things like that. Now it wasn't like yes, everything we wanted, and you know, no, it's never going to be that way. But yeah. hey, at least they know and they they made a lot of great announcements this week and a lot of things are getting fixed. So it's going to help us out a lot. And they released they're going to be releasing a new beta for live streamers as well on your phone, so it's more. Oh, I'm phone so and, glad. And, in your live streams and stuff like that with your uh, phones and tablets. So, uh, and anything helps. What up, Honestly, what that's up, what it is. What up, Rockstar? Good to see you. Hi, Business Daddy. Good to have you guys. Hi, Mafi. Hi, Dildo. Hello, chat. So, yeah, it was just nice. I, I'm so thankful for you for what you do. You're one of the pioneers, and, and uh, I'll tell you this. Blue in the face. Like, you, you have inspired a lot of people uh, that are in that category, you know, when we first started. And, um, you know, you do a lot mm -hmm. uh, for – for us and uh you know i just want to thank you for the opportunity just to sit on this damn couch and shout out food and drink <laughs> in my community thank you of course i'm gonna i always put a shout out for uh the channels anyone who wants to talk to me on here so uh definitely if you are still into the food and drink category stuff don't worry i'm gonna make my epic comeback one day yeah. uh, i'm just getting my i'm getting my stuff set up again it's just you know those food prices are crazy they are it's not easy it's not so easy. doing I this mean, at home got, has been challenging community anyway like they love when you game also you know you've been around that community for a long time right with your with, yeah. with oh today's my partner anniversary nine years nine years yeah i've been See around a I'm while saying? like you know i'm 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 on five thinking like i'm a dinosaur right it's like <laughs> nine is almost double that it is insane it's so hard to do that it's so hard to do yeah. one year i mean they got nine million streamers a year right like how many ever even make it past year one barely barely any percentage it is so. a it is a grind it's a test of perseverance and it is absolutely you know what, what i mean to me it's been worth it so yeah that's good and, and it's I, nice that you can be free and do what you want to do you you do the gaming when you do you yeah. can take breaks with the food and come back to that i mean you know you're 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 all over you're doing a bunch of uh stuff as many places Thank you can. You. So your name's still there like people you know nobody's ever going to forget you ever no matter how much time you take off or breaks in between whatever uh yeah, that's I appreciate that. that. That's really nice of you to say. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I'm just uh, you well, know I I'm always me. That's I think the thing about me too, is uh, I always tell people just be yourself and um. That's true. It's when it's it comes easier to, to make friends. Like a lot of times, if you act like you've already been friends when you're meeting people the, for the first time, and you do that a lot here at these conventions, if you yeah. act like you've already been friends for a long time, it just makes it the transition that <laughs> yeah. that much easier. 100%. And like all the awkward stuff is out of the way, right? Yeah, and let me tell you about last year's partner, um, last year's partner party I when I saw you for the I first time, Chef McGee for the first time, yeah. like hugged everybody. Like I had like like I had been friends with them for years. Just uh all all these uh, food and drink streamers. I'm like, oh my god, hi, what's going on? Like it's yeah, it's one such of a those little things. tight knit community. And uh, yeah. you know, the ones that have been around a decent amount of time, you know, will all say the same thing about you. You you there's only a few of you guys that have been around a long time and started this thing for us, right? Like you, you've been around like before food and drink was even a category, you know? Yes. When we were not actually allowed to stream it, but we kind of did it anyway. So yeah. that was like me and domestic Dan, we were just both kind of low key, like, all right, yeah. we're just going to cook today. And you remember um, back in the day too, like there was actually Twitch, um, Twitch uh, mods and stuff that would come and move you to the right category sometimes when all that started, Correct. the category started to come out. Like, it yeah. was a no-no to be streaming in the wrong category sometimes. Like, the, the Twitch yeah. team would come in there and put you in the right one. Like, it, it was it was pretty cool back in the day when it, it all first started happening, you know, and, and things started to kind of break off a little bit like that. Yeah, it was like, uh, it was a whole different monster. It was just nice. It's just nice, though, when you, uh, it, when it comes to stuff, and I had this conversation yesterday, too, with a, uh, these group of ladies that sat down with me who were uh, streaming The Sims. And so they, all of them, all three of the girls sitting down, yeah, we're The Sims streamers. Well, that's how we met. Yeah. And um, and it's the same thing. It's just that that thing that you all do, uh, your, you know, the, the close thing that you guys do kind of comes together is to not only make communities with your chat, but communities with other streamers and their chat as well. So right. that's kind of the way it, that's the kind of the way that you're, you kind of grow on Twitch as well you is, is you to. kind of, you kind of your communities merge and your other chat knows about this other person now. And then it just kind of, you know, spreads a little bit from like there. It's easier for food and drink and music type communities to do that because that's what it's about anyway, right? Sharing the love of food or music. Yeah. 
and you know you either yep. sit down at the dinner table together or you go to a club or a concert together right tons of people yeah. all sharing that those screaming those same words out of their mouth at the same time you know it's relatable yes. right but like even back you know early times of twitch like not a lot of people did the raid thing not a lot of people wanted to share communities you know there, there oh my god there was a lot of different times were so much different in the beginning yeah like, where it is now it's so much more better now for networking and events like this too like passing out your business cards talking about what you do you know hanging out at that charity booth for a couple hours each day has just been such mm -hmm. a blessing so I, I i've just been able to get my point across and shout my word to the crowds to the masses yeah. and just keep keep grinding on the charity thing and the food and drink thing and tell people there's more to switch than just video games, you know? And then, you know what? 100% true. Um, I want one thing I wanted to ask you, did you have formal training or did you start like at the dish pit? Like some other people I've known. Oh, no, uh, dude, I, I went up. full circle. It's been a hell of a journey. That's, that's the same. Oh. So yeah, I, I was 16 year old dishwasher. This is actually a cool story. I was a 16 year old dishwasher at this place. And then, um, then I, I was doing, I was working in like delivery driver slash pizza places too for a while. But I went from dish to when I got my first like real kitchen job, I was on the fryer first. I never started a pantry, but I, I never went to really? school either. But I okay. started a fryer first and it was like a fryer slash saute set, they would call it. So I would, we, we were, I worked for a really fine dining, like crazy chef. His name's Zach Brule out of Cleveland, Ohio. And he never did any callbacks and we weren't allowed to get any tickets. And this was like a, a classic five, five star restaurant, right? Really? Yeah. So I had to pull all of the orders for the saute guy. Uh, like when Zach was making the call, when the chef was making the call, you know, di different types of fish or whatever it may be that he had to sear. And I would put it in like a pie tin and I would stack it up on the corner of my table. And his his table was was uh, next to that a little bit, and he could reach over oh my God. the stove and stuff. So I was uh -huh. working fryer saute set with like the craziest chef ever, and he was my first chef. And I got embarrassed, yelled at every day for like months. Um, no. you know, so I kind of figured out, you know, how a kitchen works. Because I never was went worked in like a nice kitchen before until that one. And then um, I'm a competitive person, so I started oh, out wow. in the dish, went to that. Um, uh, fryer saute set took the saute guys job within about a year or so uh really yeah once i had the saute guys job i took the grill guys job about a year and a half after that and then um i took the sous chef's job and then i eventually be um only made it to juice oh that only made it to sous chef there then went to a different restaurant for a while as a sous chef uh slash like kind of chef because uh, the other chef was very like hands-on and then um, I ended up starting another restaurant for a hospitality group that I was the chef at, which was the same one that I was a dishwasher at a long time ago. So it was kind of cool that I, I went to these other restaurants, built up some ranks, learned about food, uh, learned all the different parts of the restaurant business, and then got to the original restaurant that I was a dishwasher at and was the chef there at a new restaurant. But it, it, it still had that same feel kind of, you know? Yeah, full full circle moment right there. Yeah, it was really cool. It was really cool. I, I've been so lucky it, growing up in Cleveland, and the Cleveland food scene is actually really amazing, and it doesn't get enough credit. But I got to work with some of the best say. chefs there and do some of yeah. the funnest jobs there, and I worked for all the sports teams, and I've got to meet – you know the, the most people and uh it's just it's been such a cool experience I, I wouldn't trade my experience for anything but also i literally gave my life for it you know like i it no, saved I, I my life it. but also like i dedicated my life to it and uh, i missed out on a lot of things you know and um i i would i still wouldn't change it but also now that i'm 43 i'm like man i gotta start doing more things i can't just keep <laughs> and and that's weird too because i just started a business right so i'm working seven days yeah. a week 100 and plus hours a week i can we don't even afford to pay ourselves yet um but it's like you know and now i want to like try to do more with my life you know it doesn't even make sense yeah. but you know i guess that's also a good thing about having your own business you can kind of like you don't have to book a job that day if, if I got something to do and that's going to be it, you know, and yeah. it's nice to have that compared to like running restaurants for other owners and ownership groups uh, where you kind of got to be told what to do and what to work. And you get a crappy salary in this business anyway for enormous amount of hours, you know? Oh, I, 100%. Uh, one of the things that I've always uh, envied about people who've uh, worked more in the restaurant industry than I have is that I had what they call that formal training. Yeah. Uh, but I never, because I went to culinary school, but right. I never got to have like that great in depth, um, you know, actual kitchen experience because yeah. um, Dude, being I, a cashier. Uh, sorry, go ahead. No, I was just going to say it's like you. 
I've seen a lot of people be top out of the culinary school, and it's hard on a line, man. The kids, it's, it's hard, yeah. more harder than what they think. Now, not that culinary school isn't tough, like what you went through and what you learned is what I would have loved to have learned, right? But yeah. you know, instead of getting thrown into the wolves, right? But yeah. Also, it's um, you know, I respect a lot of people that that went to the school and got the the training because I think everybody should honestly have to go through it. But also, I love that kitchens have saved so many people's lives that yeah. aren't going to get a shot anywhere else. You know, tattoos might have been on drugs, whatever, going yep. crazy shit mentally. You can always have a home in a kitchen. Uh, 100%. I am with you there. I have seen so many. Uh, I have seen it. I have seen uh, people who are just bottom of the just rock bottom in their lives, just needing to get a job, needing to get money, just starting as a dishy. And all of a sudden, they're just like, they're they're moving on the pantry. They're going yeah. in prep. Like, all of a sudden, they're just... Sometimes they're, they're they realize the love weird. they have for it, right? And yeah. sometimes people are competitive, and that's how uh, restaurants are. Like, you, you guys are all one team, and you're trying to you dance the same dance and come up at the same time type thing, right? But also, yeah. like, as soon as that saute, that's how I did it. As soon as the saute guy went out on the back dock to smoke, I started doing his tickets. And then eventually I started doing more of his prep, and then I started doing his tickets faster. And then the chef was <laughs> like, you know what? I'm going to schedule you there now. And that's what Ooh. I did, and I did the same thing to the grill guy, and then the sous chef would – call off all the time and go smoke and i would just outwork Ooh. him and the cool thing about cooking is if you outwork everybody around you you can have that top job but then here's the kicker that mm -hmm. i found out when i got the chef job for the first time then everybody wants your job so you now have to work that much harder and that's if you yeah. want to be a good chef because a lot of people get to that chef job and then grab a clipboard and point and tell people what to do but yeah. i never wanted to be that guy i wanted to be right there next to you on that line and show you i'm going to work just as hard as you and harder and be there earlier and stay later you know what I'm saying? To and it shows you to work harder. You know? It shows when you're doing your cooking streams. It shows the, that you are there because you 100 percent love what you do. You're very passionate about what you're doing. You're yeah. passionate about your community because when I see you and you are streaming, you are there. Like I don't say this oh, about I'm the I don't say this guy. about a lot of people. I don't say this a lot. Uh, I don't say this about a lot of people. But you are actually you were like made to do streaming. Like what you do <laughs> and how you pre present yourself while you're doing uh, you. your cooking. It's like crazy how much people uh can get a connection from you while you are busy just running ticket orders it's <laughs> bananas i try to sometimes describe like what i'm doing in the moment when i'm busy but like man it's uh it's been quite the journey to just you know get better at it while i'm trying to concentrate on the tickets you know uh, a couple weeks ago i forgot bob's balls on an order and that's been a big joke in my stream i literally forgot to put the meatballs on a guy's dish and sold it you know sent it out the window and it was like it wrecked me Love inside that. and now it's not no. going away now i got people changing their names to i forgot bob's balls and oh. you know how you know how your community that loves you right like we'll it's never how your it. chat loves you is they uh, bust your balls no pun intended about you know what you do <laughs> while I you're on talking screen. about my dish station dude they make fun of my dish station i got it out back in the woods behind the house like on a beer pong table uh <laughs> it's rough dude the, the food truck the food trucking ain't, ain't the best life no um, it's a it's a rough uh it's a rough lonely road <laughs> if you're not careful but, hey, it beats any restaurant man food food trucking literally saved my culinary career like i was ready to give up from i i had a sushi restaurant at one point and it went down uh, because the owners, like most other owners, stopped paying the bills, and I couldn't get any orders anymore. And um, you know, then they stopped paying my paychecks, and then you leave. Ugh. And there uh, are some people who can who can cook like a dream, but can't run a business, and uh, they should not be owning restaurants. No, they shouldn't. But either way, uh, food, food truck, and I found the food trucks, and I don't think I'm ever going to do anything different. And I'm going to ride this one with Prem Delish uh, to the. Ground. I love it. I love that. Uh, do you want to, do you have anything coming up uh, before I, I don't know if we're running out of time or not, but do you have anything? Yeah, we got you two minutes. We got two minutes. Um, I okay. would say like, I got, you know, we're, we're working for stack up this month right now, raising as much money as we can to help veterans mental health, like suicide right now is crazy. Uh, the percentage rates and, and these troops that need our help so much right now. So I've been campaigning for them all month long and then we're going right into uh St. Jude creative season for a little bit. And then. Uh, the first 12 days of December is going to be Starlight again. So that's like our big thing is uh, we're going to oh, do I something. love that you're always doing charity. I love yeah. it. Yeah, that's like the main thing that I want to just continue to talk about and continue to do and uh, try to get as many people signed up to our team, Good Cause Crusaders, as possible. And people that want to try to raise money but don't know how to go about doing it, you can join our charity team and we'll walk you through it. I got a lot of great people uh, that help me uh, handle all that stuff. And um, I'm very blessed. Uh, so that's really all I got coming up. No, no other big plans other than 
uh, continuing to work as hard as I can on the food truck and show people that uh, food and drink is, is not going anywhere and we got a lot of stuff. It is not. And that is plenty enough as it is. Dude, you work so freaking hard. That is bananas. Yo, Grumpy coming in with a thousand bitties. Oh, thank, thank you, Grumpy. you, Grumpy. Love you, brother. Congrats. Oh, that is neat. Mental, uh, I appreciate, appreciate it so much yeah. that you're here. I though I didn't get to talk to you. This is what I wanted is I wanted to talk yeah, to you like in, Yes. So this I finally got it even I though just I wasn't there. To sit down for once. I mean, I'm walking ten <laughs> miles a day these last two days. Give me a comfy couch. I'm di I'm in. Oh, that is amazing. Well, I appreciate it very much that you're yeah, here. Thank, thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, guys, don't forget to follow Chef Steve, twitch.tv slash Chef Steve. Can I get another shout out in my channel, please, for him? Thank you so much. Uh, and you have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye. Okay, so we're going to bring it back, team, to Puppy Pictures. Hello.